Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to see how we can configure remote access using Win Selector for Mac CRP software. For that, either we can go to the software options, application configuration, remote access, and then we can click on allow server files and folders, and then we can just click on install server. So it will defaultly install the version of 3.9.810. Otherwise. We can just go to the Google Chrome, enter Winflector, click on download winflector.com, and then we can go and install any version. Next, you have to click on Server and Client Package, and then you have to just double click on it, and then you have to click on Next. I accept the agreement, and then click on Next, Next, and continuously you have to click on Next and install only. So there are two types of remote access. One is of token based and second is of browser based. So first we are going to see is icon based. So we'll just double click on the WinFlector server and then click on preferences, click on user accounts, add account, username and password would be U and U1, and then save. After saving it, click on close. Application, add new application, click on the file and then click on the map application and then click on open, click on add, save and close and then we need to go to options. First we can see a port of 6601 which is used for icon base and next we can see one more port here which is of 80 that is used for browser base. If 80 port is used for some other web application, then you should use 8080. And now, we can just click on start server minimize to the system tray. That means it will start whenever the system has been started in a minimized way. And then we need to click on save and then click on ok. Close. And then click on start. So here you can see TCP and web. So TCP is used for icon based and web is used for browser based. And if this is in grey, that means it has been used for some other web application. And then we can just minimize this. Next we are going to see how we can configure remote access for the client. So you have to install the same WinFlector version in the client system or the remote system. And we can just double click on WinFlector client and enter the password and the server name or the IP will be remote.maxrp.com and then we have to just click on save password then advanced menu transmission then we have to enter the port here so in the server in the hidden icon we can see a mobile connector app here which has the port. So it is 6601 So we have to enter that port here. And then click on application. Click on the maps icon. And then we need to click on others. And create icon. So it will create a uh, map icon in the client system. And then we need to close. So next is giving the user role permission so that they can use it remotely. So file, user, search, select the user role, edit and can access remotely should be on tick and you have to give a strong password which should have minimum letters of 7 and one should be caps and they should have one number and one special character as well. And then we need to save. So next we are going to see is based on browser. For the browser based we need to change the port to 8.0. Server. Option. Application configuration. In Mac remote access they need to change the port to 80 or 8.0.8.0. And then they need to save. And then we can restart the application. We can just go to Google and enter our subdomain okay. 
and then we need to give the username and password here click on sign in we can even have a uh, resolution for our screen if 100% or 125% or if you want any other uh, resolution you can just click on your and then we can save and close and then you can click on run and browser and then you can enter your username and password you may even go to save, save and all take a print preview if you click on print here we have WinSector printer so we can just click on WinSector printer and click on print and then we can just click on ok so this will be downloaded as PDF so this is it for this session. Thank you everyone.